What's up? Big Kirk 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. Go to BigKirk916.com, pick up some merch, grab your bar of soap, and wash your ass. Man, you ever wonder how the 1% control 80% of the world's wealth? Well, check this out. I think there are two ways in which people are controlled. First of all, frighten people, and secondly, demoralize them. An educated, healthy, and confident nation is harder to govern. And I think there's an element in the thinking of some people. We don't want people to be educated, healthy, and confident because they would get out of control. <laughs> The top 1% of the world's population own 80% of the world's wealth. It's incredible that people put up with it. But they're poor, they're demoralized, they're frightened. And therefore they think perhaps the safest thing to do is take orders and hope for the best. It's all by design, man. They got people scared, living in fear, paralyzed, unable to make moves for lack of uncertainty, poor education. And you combine all that, you have the perfect model for control. People don't even question things now because they are afraid of being canceled, afraid of being fired being ostracized, being labeled somebody who's hateful. They're trying to make a criminal to speak out if you have a voice. And then the things they educate you on now don't even make sense. See, we thought it made sense when we were growing up, going to school, learning about the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, the various wars that America has been involved in. No, no, Charlotte. Civil rights. We thought we knew about all that stuff, but most of what we learned was bullshit. The Revolutionary War, no. Independence of America, yeah, the ideal of a free America was a great thing, but eventually they still turned it back into a, a monarchy, man, through the monetary system. Once they got that Federal Reserve Act passed, they passed the taxation and it was a wrap, man, 1933. No gold standard. Everything was downhill from there. You could control the economy. You could control the lives of billions. And we see it today with them pushing the whole digital currency thing. They don't want you to have any freedom. Most of you got Alexa in your house right now listening to you. The game is so deep, man. And now with the AI game, they can program AI to literally respond with favorable narrative answers. So where are you gonna really get the truth? I was blown away because a lot of things that I read in prison, I had never heard in public school system I never read about a lot of the black inventors and doctors and revolutionaries that I came across in prison as far as reading material. There's a lot of political things I didn't know about that I read in prison. The, const the congressional acts, the whole taxation system, trust, you know, different things that people with wealth use that aren't taught to people who 
aren't intended to be wealthy. You can wake up or you can stay asleep. The choice is yours. I just share information and let you marinate on it. Because I marinate it on all the time. I, I, I sit back and just think of things that maybe I'm missing out on as far as information. And I try to put that vibe out into the universe so that that information will come back to me tenfold. But these people, man, they laugh. I've been at the events, man, and they are perplexed when they see a black man like myself conversating, talking about things with them. Oh, what do you do? Oh, what do you do? Oh, well, I uh, just recently took over my uh, my father's business and uh, I'm involved in uh, real estate and uh, I have some other holdings in stocks and mutual funds. Oh, well, interesting. I, I have some holdings in stocks too and uh, I'm a first generation uh, corporation owner. I've traded natural gas partnerships. I've uh, pulled a few licks. And now I mentor people across the world. Huh, interesting, interesting. Pulling licks. <laughs> What's your name? My name's uh, Big Herc 916. <laughs> Big Herc 916. Wow, that's a... Cool name. Yeah, for a cool nigga. Hey, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this channel, man. Let's get laced up. Let's lace each other up, man. Let's get this paper, man. These one percenters are laughing. We can laugh too, man. Because you know when you come up in the room, the first thing they're going to think is, man, that guy, he could probably beat me up and cheek bust my wife. I need to make friends with him. I need a black friend. Well, I'm your nigga, Big Herc 916. <laughs>Hello, my name is Big Herc 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, wash your ass soap. And this one in particular is butt naked scrub, but I also have festival, oatmeal milk and honey, you're making me crazy, um, monkey farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So if you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk. Go to the Herc store at BigKirk916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some Never Settle for Average merch or some of the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle merch. We have hats, Never Settle for Average, Got the Muscle Up t-shirts. We also have the Never Settle for Average tank tops. Got the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916 Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.